Christmas and winter break is just around the corner and the royal agenda is getting less and less busy. This week Queen Letizia had only two engagements. Letizia first attended the event marking the 75th anniversary of UNICEF at La Caixa Forum. UNICEF celebrated 75th anniversary on December 11. Queen Letizia, a former journalist, a news anchor who married into the Spanish royal family in 2004, is the honorary president of UNICEF Spanish Committee and has been actively involved in its workings and children charities since her marriage. Since its creation 75 years ago, shortly after the end of World War II, the United Nations Children's Fund has worked tirelessly for the rights of children and adolescents. This week's event was focused on the challenges for children in the post-COVID-19 era. COVID-19 has affected children on an unprecedented scale, making it the worst childhood crisis in UNICEF's 75 years long history. This is reflected in UNICEF's latest report, Let's Avoid a Lost Decade. The report concludes that we must act now to reverse the effects of COVID-19 on children and youth and highlights how the coronavirus is jeopardizing the cares of progress on issues such as poverty, health, access to education, nutrition, child protection and mental wellness. Speaking at the event, Queen Letizia said, inequality does not only have to do with an economic issue, but it also has to do with the will of all, the will of societies like ours that have the resources to be able to change this reality. And it has to do with a very simple question, in what kind of society do we want to live? And this is the question that UNICEF has been asking since 75 years ago. Thank you for being a part of the solution. For the day, Queen Letizia was looking winter chic in a white and red combo. The royal turned heads in white Hugo Boss Farilla sweater paired with her red Carolina Herrera printed skirt. The white turtleneck sweater features a slim fit silhouette with button cuffs. Queen first wore the skirt in December 2017 at the AECC meeting. The skirt features white, red and black abstract print on a red base and carefully placed pleats and button details on one side. Letizia teamed up the look with her red magret Francisca boots. Massimo Dutti gold-plated howlite hoop earrings and her Kiran Halam print. On Friday, the 49 years old Letizia joined her husband King Felipe for the act commemorating the 70th anniversary of the Association of Academies of the Spanish Language at the Royal Spanish Academy in Madrid. The Association of Academies of the Spanish Language is the entity in charge of bringing together the different academies of the Spanish language in order to promote the unity, integrity, and development of the Spanish language. Created in Mexico in 1951, it brings together the 23 corporations from America, Spain, Philippines, and Equatorial Guinea. The event began in the Assembly Hall and King Felipe VI opened the session and gave the floor to the director of the Royal Spanish Academy. The act touched various agendas and important readings of the academies. During the event, a video chronicle of the Spanish language 2021 was shown. Philip and Letizia received a copy of the Chronicle of the Spanish Language 2021 and Q.H. Chico. On Friday, Queen Letizia was wearing her black Carolina Herrera coat in classic Letizia style. Thrifty Queen Letizia opted for a white blouse from Spanish label Maxu that she first premiered in January this year at the military Easter, and she paired it with a flattering black midi skirt that is still unidentified. Letizia topped the skirt with her Burberry belt. She was wearing her black magret pumps and carried Nina Ricky Marshall bag. The queen finished the look with a pair of long chain earrings that remain unidentified and her kid in halam ring. Next week, Queen Letizia will make a quick trip to Senegal before her joint engagement with King Philippe. In another news, Queen Letizia's refusal to hide her grey hair has finally touched the leading headlines. Since the beginning of this year, Queen Letizia has been proudly rocking her grey hair and stopped colouring them. Stay tuned for more royal news.